ourselves back with another video and today in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make clothing on Roblox. Now just before we get into it I just want to say just for those who um, are about to do this but they need to know this you do need Builders Club in order to make clothes and to sell it on Roblox so um, you do need BC so uh, get that before you start designing because if you go and start designing clothes and then you realise Oh, I don't have builders club, and then you've made such a real, you've made such good effort to make some clothes, and you're like, oh, I need BC. So yeah, uh, get that. Just that's just a reminder. So uh, what we need to do first is, so you'll see your homepage now. On the Roblox homepage, there should be a develop up here. Now go to that develop button, press that. Now we're here. You need to go on these uh, this column here. Now there will be a uh, button that uh, there'll be a few buttons that say shirt, uh, t-shirts, and pants. Now uh, all you need to focus here is on shirts and pants because that's what you um, need. Um, you need a template for those. So if you want to make some shirts, then you click the shirts. If you want to make some pants, obviously click the pants. So I'm going to make a shirt. So once you click shirt. You should, you should see this, um, and now uh, it will say create a shirt and it will say if you have the template or not. If you have the template, go and simply download it by clicking this. Download it here. Now that will bring you to this uh, template um, image. So what you want to do here now is you want to right click and you want to save image as. Now you can either copy this or you can uh, just save it in your... Uh, desktop like your PC document so I'm going to save it here but uh, I would save it in your pictures folder but uh, that's just what I do uh, so I since I already have it um, saved uh, you don't, I don't need to do that but of course if you don't you need that in, um, on your computer uh, now what you're going to do next is you're going to need a software that allows you to edit and you know uh, to edit your clothes and so you can like put the textures on and everything so uh, what you uh, well I do this is what I use I use Photoshop elements or you can simply use uh, paint.net which is a free um, software you can use that I'm going to use Photoshop Photoshop is dead like it's, it's like paint.net uh, but uh, Photoshop is very more advanced so um, it, it should look something like this. I mean, it's obviously got a different whole uh, color scheme, and um, but it should have all the same tools as what Paint.net should have. So uh, what you're going to know, uh, do now is it would be the same on Paint.net. You want to go to File, and then you want to Open, and then it should show, uh, show you a folder. So I'm going to go to my library, then my pictures, where you saved it. So where is it? There it is. And now I'm going to go and get that picture, uh, not picture, the template, which I'm going to be using to edit the uh, clothes. So uh, let's scroll down here. Okay, so here it is. So uh, if you want to just like put your mouse and hover over that, uh, it should say template, shirt, or pants, whatever you're going to edit uh, your clothes on. So this is the shirt template. I'm going to double click on that. Once that's loaded, you want to get the magic wand tool, which should uh, on paint down there should look something like this. Now, once you've got that tool, go to the layers up here. Uh, I mean down here, and then double click that. Um, if that's if you're using Photoshop, I don't know how it is on paint.net, and um, you can simply look that up if you don't know how to convert it into a, um, uh, a layer. So make that a layer. Once that's a layer, now it's called layer zero. Like I can, I can uh, make that for a different title, so I could call it shirt template. If you do want to do that anyway. So once you've done that, I'm just gonna resize a little bit. Okay, I am going to yeah, that's good. So now you've got the magic wand tool. Simply select all the squares. Okay, I have all the squares now selected. Now, an easy way to do this, to get rid of all of that, you need to press Control X and at the same time. So now that's all gone, we've got a transparent background which is a perfect to put our clothing on. Um, so now you've done that. So you want to go to the rectangular uh, marquee tool. So I'm going to press that, and uh, it should so it should definitely look like that on uh, Paint.net. And I'm just gonna get rid of all these letters. Pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Oh, there we go. And uh, Control X. Let's make sure you hold Control X, by the way. Perfect. 
Okay, so now you have that done, you want to open your piece of um, texture uh, for your clothing, like what you want your clothing to look like, and um, I'm gonna get that. So, the textures, like, you know, like the clothing and all, like, so, uh, we're going to go onto Google or into Explorer, whatever browser you use, and you want to look for the uh, clothing texture you want, so, like, let's say I wanted mine to be sort of like a, um, like a galaxy themed one, uh, so I'm gonna type type galaxy and actually no not a galaxy phone uh, I'm gonna say a galaxy texture so once that's loaded we got some pretty decent ones here I, I'm going to go for let's see we got a pretty good ones over here uh, that one looks like a nice one hmm and what else so what I thought was, I was going to use this one, so I'm going to use this. Uh, obviously it's got these like little watermark things, so we can crop that off very easily. Copy that. We now have our image, which was going to be on the clothing. So, if, to, if you only want a part of an image, you can, uh, you can just use the square tool, which like obviously selects it, and you can control X and then control B uh, to paste it. If you want to select a certain part of this, I simply like this part here, so I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to press Control X. Then I want to get rid of this layer here, and press press Delete layer. Get rid of that. Then press Control V, and actually bring your texture which you cropped, and you should now be able to move it around in all of that. So now you've done that, go to the layers and put your la layer under the shirt template, so it's in the transparent background. So now we can. It's kind of going behind the. Um, shirt template so it's perfect now so this is now the main deal now this is the big deal so control T edit this as much as we want like the size of it so I'm just gonna make that thing that's perfect that seems nice so if you want a texture if you want to go uh, further in doing this so what you want to do uh, so you know where you can have like an overlay so well, you know, so it, it looks more realistic, so you've got like shadows and stuff. Go back to Google Chrome or whatever browser you're using, like I said before. Then type in Roblox Texture, te no, Template Texture, I think. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, so we got some good ones here. I think I recommend this one or I would also recommend this one. I like, this is what I use. I love this one. So. I already have this saved, so if you don't know how to do it again, save image as, or you could just copy it, and that you can um, you can then save that to you in your folder, or go to uh, Photoshop and edit, then paste or Control V. But since I have it saved, I'm going to go to File, Open, and so here I have these two textures. I'm going to go with this one and open that up. Now, it should be transparent, or if it's not transparent, you can simply just select all the blank parts and delete it. So, now we have our Roblox template texture, but we want to simply drag this into our shirt template, and that should show up here. And if you don't have it underneath the shirt template layer, simply just move it under it. So, that's in the layers. And um, now, we can simply move this and make it uh, so it's uh, so it fits the shirt template. So this may take a few uh, this may take a few minutes so you can get it just right. Okay, so now we have that done. That is that is uh, pretty uh, good. I think that's pretty good. That should be all right for now. And now, if you don't, because you want to remember this, uh, if you go to this picture here, you can see that how it's all laid out. So it makes it sort of easier for you to see uh, where you're going. So. Um, with the letters you saw uh, had like different, um, it had like uh, letters saying like this would be the front here, the torso. So you know in uh, Roblox this is going to be your torso, uh, for, um, the clothing for the torso, and this is going to be the back part. This is going to be the top. This will be the bottom. These are the arms. Do not forget this. I I don't know how many times I should say this, but I have messed this ta I have messed this up so much in the past where I I think these bits are the arms. And I completely forget about this bit, so uh, sometimes that kind of went wrong. So, do not make the same mistake I did. Always remember, these are the arms. This is the torso. So, moving on. Now what we want to do is, you want to also select the layer for the piece of clothing, which will be on yours. And you want to either duplicate it, so I'm going to duplicate mine. Duplicate. And I'm going to move 
I'm gonna control T, move that down so it goes onto the arms. Resize that. That should be perfect. Yep, that is looking good so far. Now, once we've done that, we are nearly finished. What you want to do is remember you are going to have some, uh, you're gonna have your hands here. So, uh, you're gonna have them here. So, you want to get rid of that part, but don't do that right yet. Remember, you have layers to. Uh, remember so you want because you if you just like select that you don't know what layers uh, you've done like it's only gonna uh, it's only gonna get rid of one thing like one layer so if I did this you thought oh I can just get that rid I can just get rid of it easily no it's only gonna get that uh, half the layer off so remember what you want to do uh, you want to just uh, do in e each individual layer um, you want to do each invid uh, individual layer so you can um, get rid of all of it so make sure you're on the layer you want to get rid of it all so I'm on this one the um, texture for your clothing so it's like <coughs> it's like what overlays it so it makes it look more realistic I'm gonna get uh, control X on that then you want to go to the image which is um, the one you want to use for your clothing get rid of that and now that is perfect. That was for the arms, by the way. Don't do it for this one, because it won't, first of all, it just won't uh, get rid of anything. It won't remove any pixels just because uh, that's up here, and um, it won't. It's not down here, so it can't get rid of any pixels. So moving on from there, we now have some pretty cool clothing. We could improve it a bit more. So if you want to have like, you know, where those it has. The, uh, you know where the neck is going to be so you want like a little collar going around there so you can simply just go to the uh, cropping tool like and then go to the um, the circle sort of one um, the oval shape and then you want to go on the layer you don't want you want to select the layer which you're going to crop and make the circle so it's like perfect for your neck uh, and the collar you want to get the circle and I, I would probably say that that's pretty good. Uh, we could move that a bit more down. Yeah, that, that's all right. Just get it in the middle because you, uh, you don't want your neck because uh, the, the neck will be in the middle, obviously. And then you want to control X, make sure you're on the layer and do the same with this one, you know, the one that overlays it. Um, make sure you do it because if you don't, uh, you'll have a, your neck looking like, I don't know, looking like the clothing. So you don't want that. Then control X. And that is perfect. Now we could do some more to it. I had a bit of decoration, like you could get an Adidas logo. So if you want to go back into your browser and look up an Adidas logo or any any other logo, if you want a picture even, like a game logo, go ahead, get a picture of it. I'm gonna get the Adidas logo and make sure it's transparent or you could just select uh, it all with the uh, magic wand tool and uh, control x and then control v if you don't find any that are transparent simply just copy it or save image as well just just copy it it's quicker if it just copy it's quicker and then you can go to uh, paste which is an edit and then don't worry don't go all like oh no it's got a background simply select all that white background control x and then get the white parts out of these letters. Control X, Control X. This is the magic wand tool, by the way. And there, it wasn't so hard, was it? Okay, now we have our Adidas logo, but we just don't want to slap it on there like uh, already, like. And then you're like, oh, it's finished. But you gotta put it behind the overlay of texture. So I'm going to put this on the middle. Uh, don't want it to be too big though. I'm just gonna resize that. Um, put that in the middle. And then you want to move that under this layer here, remember? That's your clothing done. I think this is pretty good. We can go ahead and simply upload this to Roblox. Now to save this, you got to really, really focus on this bit. Now, go to File, then Save As. Then don't save it as a Photoshop file or a Paint.net file, whatever you, um, you're on. Now, this bar here, Format, go on here. Then go for the file format which says PNG. Go on that one, not any other files, go on the PNG one. Then simply just name your file, um, insert template, what you get upload to Roblox. I'm just going to call my Galaxy, Galaxy Jack, no, Galaxy Shirt. 
and I'm going to save that, I'm just going to enter, and then, okay, just press OK here, once that's all done, you want to go to your browser, go to Roblox, then, once you've done that, you want to go to shirt, which you're already on, or if you're on pants, simply go to pants, then you want to choose file, which is here, and then I'm going to go to the pictures, wherever you saved it, go to app, and then I'm just going to type it in just because it's a lot faster. Galaxy shirt. It should you should find it. And then I'm going to click on that. It's a it's a PNG. Make sure it is. That's awesome. Open. Then it's it's also it's come up here now. Now what you want to do from here? Just simply name it. Um, actually, Galaxy uh, shirt wasn't a bad name, so I'm just going to call it that. And then simply this little button here. Go to upload. Now, just before you do that, just remember these are your creations. You can do it in your group creations, uh, and you can choose your group of what group, a group you are in. Uh, you're the owner of, uh, or what group you are going for uh, for clothing design or whatever. And you can uh, pick the group you are doing it for, and you can simply upload it to that group. I've done it for my creations, I didn't want to do it for my group, so that is awesome. I hope this video has really helped you. Uh, there are quite a lot, but um, I'm seeing some people get a little confused and they don't get rid of the, they don't make it transparent and uh, then sometimes uh, it just goes a little weird and all that. So, uh, I am very, uh, this is coming to the end of the video now. So, I'm really proud of this one actually. Uh, if you want to join the algorithm, please go hit that subscribe button and this is Ozaz signing out. Bye guys!